Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another day in the news for Season of Discovery. So I try to spice that up, make it sound real good. But in other news, or the news, <laughs> anyways, um, mages are able to teleport wherever they want in the game. Um, check this video out from dot slash frag. Um, there's another video here from call to rack. Um, some two good guys, but today I'm going to show you a glitch that I found that I think embodies yeah. the spirit of season of discovery. I really hope blizzard doesn't fix it unless some sort of exploit comes out of it. This is the most fun I've had playing WoW since the early days of wall jump to hydral and caverns of times in vanilla. That being said, like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. As a mage in Season of Discovery Phase 3, we got a new rune called Displacement. The way this rune works is for 10 seconds after you blink, you can cast Displacement and return to the original location that you blinked from. If you think about this in terms of programming, it realistically records your X, Y, and Z coordinates and then it places you back at them. What would happen if you say, did this in a new instance? One that wasn't the same as where those coordinates were originally recorded? Well, I'm here to tell you that it indeed does teleport you to those coordinates, but inside of the new instance. As you can see, when I do this technique from within stockades, <laughs> I get sent to Alteric Mountains. This seems to be the go-to location when you go from inside of an instance to Eastern Kingdoms. So what would happen if you went from an instance to Kalimdor? Well, you usually end up in Stone Talon Mountains. That seems to be the go-to place. There have been a couple times when I ended up in Thunder Bluff, and I think the issue with that is because it actually teleports you under the map, so the game tries to figure out where the closest graveyard is. This is the part of the video where things get interesting. Technically speaking, Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor are both their own instances. So what happens if you travel between the two? Well, great. Currently, this still does work in the game, but a lot of people think this is going to get hot fixed. I think it's super cool, um, but I'm sure somebody will figure out a way to exploit this mechanic to the, probably like, I don't know, make gold or something. Um, and then Blizzard's going to hot fix it. But I think it's super cool that you can just teleport almost wherever you want in the game. That's what you can consistently and reliably make a map that shows you exactly where you will travel between the two minus Z location unless someone takes the time to make that. The easiest way to create this map is to screenshot your location when zoomed out on one continent, use the technique to the other continent, and then screenshot your location again. Overlapping these two screenshots with your arrow aligned will give you the map you're looking for. So how do we use this? Highlight the area you want to visit on whatever map. So he's got the two maps on top of each other and essentially when you take the portal to the other area and you displace back to where you're supposed to be but you're on the other continent that's where it's going to move you map has the location and then hide the map you'll now need to position yourself somewhere inside the mark on the other map so let's try this theory by visiting behind the so if you want to go to a specific location you just set it up for where you want to go gates of aq bada boom bada bing displace teleport You'll see that I'm teleported right behind the gates of AQ and I'm free to explore. <laughs> this is huge. You can pinpoint any location in the game and get there with little to no barrier to entry, literally. There's so many things that can be done with this. For instance, here I am swimming through fatigue and surviving all the way to the wall that you get stuck in. The way I do this is pretty simple. Swim until fatigue is close to being gone, teleport out, wait for fatigue to fill up, and displace back. I was doing this to try to reach GM Island, but I did hit an invisible wall, so I'm not 100% sure that it's possible. If you take this technique and build on it or find something really interesting, let me know in the comments below and I'll check it out. I'll be making a follow-up video with some realistic- Well, they put a wall on GM Island. That sucks. Um, Call to Rack has a cool video. His video kind of shows you an easier way to get to exactly more specific places. And blink as it goes off. When you cast displacement, you will spawn at the graveyard outside Thunderbluff. It's a short walk. To the there you go. Fair. Easy way to get to the Dark Moon Fair for all of us. We do the same technique here. We cast our NASA's portal and then we blink as it goes off. Once you cast displacement, guess what? And you then get right to ZF. Just make sure you blink before you hit the ground. What about the gates of AQ? Head over to this spot in Stormwind and run up to these barrels. Climb the wall like this. Run forward until you fall and go under Stormwind. We run west to the water here. Swim to these coordinates, same tech as before. Teleport to Onassis, blink, and displacement. You'll fall in DC, but when you log back in, you're at the gates of AQ. Tess showed me they found a spot in Unburrow that teleports you to the portal in Molten Core. So I set out to find a spot we could get to Unburrow quickly from. After some trial and error, I was able to find this location. Run to the King's Chamber in Stormwind and run past Anduin here. Teleport you to Onassis and do the blink trick. This will put you on the edge of the portal. Directly until you hit this wall and slow fall directly to Molten Core. Oh, that's a lot of work. Run to these coordinates here. When teleporting, Wait, you gotta go what? to Stormwind this time. Same tech though. After you displacement, you are at the portal of the molten core. Dire ball anyone? 
You oh, that's crazy. As it's leaving, you'll portal to Darn. You have to teleport before the load screen. Do the displacement trick. Oh, people are going to find ways to directly teleport now, to the world gonna buffs. Like that's what's going to happen. Out very quickly, but you never know how severe the reaction is going to be. Do this at your own risk. Yeah, you probably won't get banned for this, but um, I mean, as long as you're not exploiting and like funneling thousands of gold into the economy, you should be okay. Um, but yeah, other things are happening in the news. There is limited free character transfers right now. If you're on a PVP server, if you want to go to a PVE server, um, I'm on Wild Growth, so if you're looking to get off a PvP server, Wild Growth is a really good server. I'm on the Alliance side, there's a lot of good guilds. The Horde side is... The Horde side might actually be bigger on our server, um, but I'm not too sure. Um, I do see a lot of posts from people on the Horde side for Wild Growth, um, but there's, there's a ton of people on the Alliance side too. Um, but yeah. Um, jump into the reddit <laughs> the, the paladin seal twisting on the reddit right now is it's so funny to read there's so many people like oh seal twisting's a thing now i'm gonna retire my account i'm not playing red anymore if you read the dev post i had to read it again but i mean they pretty much say that seal twisting isn't going to be viable and yeah, just to summarize it it's not going to be it's it's decent but it's not as good as exorcism spam and <laughs> it's pretty much just to make the seal twisting fanboys happy yeah it's it's that's pretty much all it is pretty much all it is <laughs> i seen this really funny post here uh this guy was talking about how he got a warlock summon and he was going to be getting he's going to you know pay gold for the summon um, but there was a rogue stealth right next to the warlocks that were summoning him. And instead of the actual warlock, you know, trading the person to get the gold, the rogue that was stealth traded the person and that person paid the rogue <laughs> instead of paying for the portal. That's smart. That's smart. Make sure you're paying the right person. If you're getting summons, make sure you're paying the right person. Cause I'm, I've got a feeling people are going to start doing this now that, uh, now that that's pretty popular. I always let them open trade with me and I wait a couple seconds. Um, yeah, and make sure they're also in the group with you too. Um, then you're not going to be losing gold. <laughs> Another funny post I saw, um, blizzard releasing incursions, Blah, blah, blah. This last one. They released the incursion to inflate the gold pool and make any raw form of gold for bots negligible in comparison. Um, but apparently now the bots are doing incursions too. Um, Say so it's interesting in theory, but it seems like a bloated economy just means things like consumables, consumable, consumables get really expensive. And eventually demand for buying gold goes up, especially when the only efficient way to accumulate gold naturally is through something with an awful gameplay experience like incursions. I don't necessarily agree with this. I mean, he's not wrong, but there's other ways to naturally accumulate gold. You can go farm herbs. You can to make the consumables that are expensive because even on my alchemist, the, the price of the herb costs more than what the potion sells for. So there's not even any incentive to make the potion, to go buy the herbs and make the potion. Everybody, you got to go collect the herbs to then make the potion if you want to be even able to make any money. But at that point, you might as well just sell the herb because the herb sells for more than the potion's worth. You're losing money at that point. Um, so just go farm like normal, like... The part where he says an awful gameplay experience like incursions. Okay. If you weren't doing incursions to make gold, what would you be farming to make gold? Because literally, what would you be doing? Farming ores, farming skinning, farming herbs. That's, that's not incredibly fun, entertaining experience to make gold but you do it so that you can make gold some people go farm boes boes sell for a ton of money now too when one thing goes up everything goes up so you can still make the same amount of money 
doing the same things that you did before. That's that. It doesn't compute for me. Like, or maybe it's not computing for them. Like, in my mind, this person thinks like, oh, the only thing I can do for gold is incursions and I don't want to do that. Bro, if you're complaining about the price of consumables, go make the consumable yourself or go gather the herbs to make the consumable. If it costs more, go farm it. Go get it. Like, you'd have to do that anyways. There's really not that big of a difference. Um, yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys like the, the <laughs> little mage glitches? What do you guys think about incursions and the gold? Um, if you think I'm wrong, like, let me know. We can discuss it in the comments. And seal twisting. What do you guys think about seal twisting? I, I feel like, I mean, it's cool that they put it in the game. That, like, people are allowed to do it now. And it makes the TBC fanboys happy. Um, I don't, I don't want to be required to do it, personally. But, uh, yeah, it's there for you to do it if you want to. And, uh, yeah, don't forget about the limited PvP to PvE character transfers. These are only going to be open for a little while because they want to keep the realm, the realm balanced there. Because um, if you're you know, playing Alliance and everybody's hopping out the server, you don't want to be the last Alliance left. So they're going to be capping it there. So if you and your friends want to transfer off, make sure you're doing it all at the same time there. So you're not leaving your one friend behind. But yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you later. It's a goodbye, just a goodbye. Forever and ever, you never come back. Just a goodbye.